Hello, hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. There's absolutely no need to change the count or update anything. Uh, in fact, it's just sort of playing out at the moment. Bear in mind what we said in previous video that we uh, in videos that we are basically here in this larger wave two. Yeah, the idea is that we are here in an A, B, C correction that we're now in this C wave to the downside. I'm counting the C wave as an ending diagonal. So let's just zoom into the C wave. Um, in the C wave, we have a wave one complete, a wave two complete. The view is that we have a wave three complete. Here I highlighted yesterday that a wave four is now very likely. We started the wave four pullback. Uh, we actually re reached already the resistance area that is relevant for a wave four. We actually reached already the ideal target for a wave four, which is here at 1818 in this case the 38.2 retracement. However, because it is an ending diagonal, it is very much allowed to go higher, no problem. What I think could be happening here is something like that, also in light of what Bitcoin is doing, an A wave in pretty much three waves here, then a B wave that could come down quite a bit before we rally once more in a C wave of wave four. Um, if we break below 1738, we obviously have confirmation that we are already in the fifth wave to the downside. And I cannot rule that out, that this is already a move down now that happens in the fifth wave so that the fourth wave topped here. Do I believe it? Not really, because the move down here at the moment since that high, which was made um, today, actually, at uh, 1818, the move down looks rather corrective. So it looks like a B wave before we move higher in a C wave. It could also unfold as a triangle especially because the move up is in a three wave structure. So that could be the A wave, a B wave, then a C wave. Didn't want to move that. And this could be a C wave, just a lower high. Then we could get a D and an E and then break down. But it's not enough price information yet to really um, confirm that or have that as a primary expectation. It's just that the wave four often is a triangle. Um, yeah, can go very well higher. Next resistance would be 1841 and then 1865 with support yeah down here at 1730 basically 1730 uh, 37 um because it's an ending diagonal the way four can pull back a little higher but if we break above this swing high here that b wave high at 1889 i would have a first indication that an overall low has already been made here um in this wave too yeah i can i can never guarantee that we will get these last lows cryptocurrencies, Ethereum, Bitcoin, they like to do WXY patterns. So you can never rule out that what it's doing is um, a wave W down, an X wave up and a Y wave down. Then we have a three, three, three pattern instead of a three, three, five pattern. Okay, so just be aware of that. Um, we need to know that about crypto. I tend to say that quite frequently WXY patterns in crypto are common. They are not more common than ABC structures where you would always expect a five wave move down in the C wave, but they are common. We can never rule them out. That's why I typically don't wait for the last low. I don't try to pick the absolute low um, personally. Yeah, or I don't try to. So it's just part of the tactics, right? Because what you cannot predict, you can manage with tactics. Um, just knowing that, for example, in crypto, WXYs are quite common can save you a lot uh, and a lot of frustration as well. For example, in other uh, asset classes like commodities, WXYs, they are not very common. So just sort of you always have that sort of characteristic of a certain asset class. But yeah, it should all be clear now. Um, next relevant support also here based on the larger FIP levels is 1754 we obviously reacted to it twice already um, and typically in such a wave two i want price to get back into uh, an area around the 50 percent level between the 50 percent and the 78.6 fib level in this case between 1754 and 1533 and we've done that from here anywhere price is allowed yeah to go up because downside requirements and expectations have already been fulfilled it's just that as long as we don't break above resistance, um, another high is very, very, uh, sorry, another low is very, very likely. 
All right, that's my update about uh, Ethereum. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.